Hey guys, welcome back to the United Star. So United have won the game 2-1. They've beaten Wolves. Um, Nuno Espirito Santos last game in charge of Wolves. Congratulations to him for what he what he achieved at uh, Wolves and best of luck to him for his career wherever he goes. Coming to the game uh, again, Anthony Alanga, Amad Diallo, a very young United playing. Uh, we had. A special shout out to Hannibal and Will Fish for making their debut in this uh, in the game. Shola Shorty came on towards the latter half of the game, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, it was a good game. I think uh, the first goal that we scored, I wasn't expecting Dan James to put in a left-footed beautiful cross across the box, and Anthony Alanga had to score that. He wasn't missing that. Nobody would have missed that. So shout out to Langa for getting his first goal for Manchester United for the senior team, and uh, what a cross from Dan James! But he redeemed himself by <laughs> uh, missing that sitter when he tried to chip Patricio. That's Dan James. Um, overall, I think we were very good defensively. Uh, Bai and Tuanzebe, especially, they were fantastic. A- anything in the box, they were. They were making sure that Henderson didn't have to do much. Also, I think uh, Telez and um, Brandon Williams they had good games. They were they kept. I think Telez had a hard time when Traore was there, but after Traore was subbed off due to injury, uh, I think he managed it pretty pretty well. He was good going forward, and his passing was very good. That ball he played to Alanga at the start of the game, fantastic. Uh, although Alanga couldn't control it. Uh, Brandon Williams too. I think going forward, he ha- he is uh, he lacks clarity. He, he doesn't know what to do when he's at the top. But defensively, he's pretty so he, he was pretty solid today, and uh, good game from him. Matic, um, I think he had a good game. Um, the goal that we conceded, you could say it was his fault, but but he slipped. So nothing much could have done about it. I think he if he hadn't slipped, we had it covered. His slip caught the defense off guard, and then we conceded the goal. So no one to really blame for that goal, but uh, otherwise Matic had a good game. Only if Matic was five years younger and had 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 some pace, I think we wouldn't have struggled in our with our midfield so much. But it is what it is. Van der Beek again, uh, up and down, up and down. He seemed to be good sometimes, but again, I feel that he's. He's very. Uh, his passing is a little. He's very careful about it. I don't know. Maybe it's down to the fact that he wants to try to get into the first team. But uh, he was very safe. Passing was safe and uh, an okay game for him. Not not great. Not uh, not bad. I think with Donny, he has to uh, sort of. I don't see him running into the. Positions where he can receive the ball, I think he's a little too stagnant for me. He needs to move a little more confidently, um, and I think yeah, his passing was a little off today. Juan Mata, he's probably played his last game for United, and he topped it up with a beautiful penalty in the left corner into the side netting. Nobody's stopping that. So um, thanks, Mata. If if this is your last game, you've been a great servant. You've been a great influence in the dressing room, and uh, we're proud to call you a United player. Coming to the top three, uh, DJ, like we discussed, uh, he put in a great, great go, great pass for the assist. Uh, Alanga, congratulations to Alanga for getting his first goal. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you did see little glimpses of him, but not as much, and that's. I guess it's fine because we weren't really playing very expansive football. We were playing more on the counter, and we were defending more. Ahmad Diallo, though, uh, I have to give him a special mention because um, he didn't he, he didn't score or get an assist today. But I think there were he showed a lot of moments where he didn't seem like a 19 year old. He seemed like a very confident. Winger, he knew when to stop. He knew when to run. He knew how to pace his runs. He was he played it very intelligently, and I think there is a real player in him. So it's up to the staff to really develop him into 
uh, a star, a possible star, and I think Diallo could be a real star for United in the coming years. Probably could solve our right wing crisis. You know, I don't know if Jadon Sancho is coming, but he could be the answer in a in a year or two. So uh, it's up to Oli and the staff to make sure that he develops in the right way. But overall, I think okay, end of the season, two one victory. The top four is confirmed. I think Spurs just blew Leicester apart with in the second half, and they won four two. So Leicester again bottling the Champions League uh, position. Uh, they've they've been in the top four for throughout the season, and in the last couple of weeks they have dropped out. So it's City obviously winning the winning the league with United second, uh, Liverpool third, and Chelsea fourth. That rounds up the top four. Finally. I have to say, United have gone the entire season unbeaten away from home, and that is absolutely fantastic. Credit to the team, credit to Oli, credit to his staff, credit to everyone involved with Manchester United. It's it is a brilliant achievement, and uh, we have to make sure that the next season we build on this and we improve our home form. And if we do that, we we will definitely be title contenders. and we know what we have to do for that we need to get signings we need to strengthen up midfield and our center back position and the right wing position we have to strengthen that but that will be for another video that's all we have for you today guys thank you and see you for the europa league final preview